my name is Julie, Julie Strauss. I'm a Senior Program Manager Lead on the Analysis Services team. In this previous release of SQL Server, uh, my team has been working on all the user interfaces for uh, building semantic models, so that be Power Pivot for Excel as well as the uh, tabular project type inside Visual Studio. Um, one of the most requested features we had for Power Pivot V1 was to add a diagram view, a diagrammatic view of the model that users are building. Now we knew very well that this was not necessarily requested by our core audience for Power Pivot Excel users, but it was requested because a lot of BI professional actually happened to like Power Pivot as well. So with the release of SQL Server 2012, we also introduced the professional tool set, so the ability to build tabular models inside Visual Studio. And we have a shared code base. For the tabular project type, we knew we had to introduce the diagram view because when you're building professional models, which are much larger, you want to see, look at the metadata and the diagrammatic view, typically, rather than just the data view. So now we had a choice. Do we actually add the uh, diagram view to Power Pivot as well, or do we just have it in the professional tool set? Um, and you can say, why not add it? You have it there. But we also got a lot of feedback from managers, managing people who were building Power Pivot models saying, don't keep adding features. It's perfect as it is. It's easy to understand. My users don't spend too much time learning it. It's simple enough. So we have that trade-off to kind of think through. So what we did was we took a lot of uh, paper prototypes of different layouts of diagram view. We took two user groups, one with the professionals and one with Excel users, and we asked them to describe what they were seeing, what they expected to be able to do. And the interesting thing was, even we expected that the Excel users doesn't really know a whole lot about tables and relationships, um, the descriptions were the same. There were different words. So the professionals would use words like, these are tables, it's diagram view, it's relationships, and you can define relationships. Whereas the Excel users would say, well, they are objects or they are tables and there's links between them. But at the end of the day, the users could perfectly fine describe what the diagram view was and how they were able to use it. Moreover, we realized that it actually learned, it helped them understand that they would need to the tables to be linked together. So not only did it help them, not only did they understand what they were seeing, it actually helped them understand the concepts of building a mod model much more easily. So that was how the diagram view ended up inside Power Pivot for the release. And we have had great, great feedback on the diagram view having it in there. So we are super happy we made that analysis and got it in. So that was a little bit um, information about uh, behind the scenes decisions that we made for this release for Power Pivot. If you want to know more about uh, SQL Server and Power Pivot um, for this release, please go to microsoft.com slash SQL Server. <laughs>